Mr. Surrett, thanks for being with us. So what does your appointment entail? Uh, specifically, um, some facilitation. So what I've been asked to do is to try to see if we can't open up some type of conversation or dialogue, uh, and then to see if there's any common areas that, uh, common grounds that we could find or shared perspectives as a way forward. You were born and raised in West Pubnico, Nova Scotia. How do you personally feel about the violence from the non-Indigenous fishers? Oh, yeah. Well, I think like anybody else, I think uh, no uh, no community, whether it's uh, down in southwest Nova Scotia or anywhere else, like to see what we've seen in the last number of weeks. Um, and my background is I've been working a lot in public sector, uh, lately over 20 years in the post-secondary, but also heavily involved in the development of our communities. Um, and I'd just like to see a way forward that we can live in harmony moving forward. In the year 2000, you were appointed to a provincial advisory committee to support the Acadian community, and you were a minister of human resources and Acadian affairs. Uh, how can you be objective with this new position? Like I've approached all my uh, previous work in terms of uh, facilitation in the past, I try to leave my own opinions, uh, my own judgment aside. Uh, in some ways, uh, this work is quite straightforward and very clear for me, is that I'll be reporting on, on what I hear and any path forward. So at the end of the day, what I've been asked to do is to, in terms of deliverables, is to write a, a report with some advice and recommendations of how we can all move forward uh, for the betterment of all of us. And that report will be public at the end of the day. Chief Sack has maintained that the non-Indigenous fishermen do not have a seat at the table and Mi'kmaq treaty rights are not negotiable. Do you accept this and how does that affect your discussions with non-Indigenous fishers? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so just to make it very clear, I, um, I've been appointed a, as a facilitator in a separate forum altogether. So it's quite clear that any work that's being done now with Crown Indigenous uh, Relations or any other federal government directly with Chief Zach or, or any, other, other, any of the other First Nations is going to continue. The same thing with any work that's being done between DFO and First Nations or DFO and uh, the commercial fishers. That will all continue. I'm, I'm, in, I'm not a negotiator. I'm not there to preempt any other structure that already exists. This is simply another forum uh, to try to open up some dialogue and to see if there's any common grounds. Uh, another concern of Chief Sack is, uh, you know, your past work included working with non-Indigenous fishers and the DFO, and he's expressed concern about your lack of experience in Indigenous affairs and treaty rights. Uh, do you see that being an issue? Well, this is this issue here is is very complex and is deeply personal for for many. Uh, at the end of the day, we're dealing with people and we're dealing with communities. Um, for someone like me, it's important that uh, I have a general knowledge of indigenous cultures, of treaty rights, uh, of the commercial fishery, uh, and I'm going to try to use that uh, in terms of um, my, my past experience in, in terms of moving this situation forward. Uh, I am not an expert uh, in, in many of the areas. However, I have, as I've had uh, in my work in the past, access to a number of government departments if I need some clarification or some further information as to uh, on some files or on some past uh, work that has been done. Mr. Surrett, we'll have to leave it there, but do appreciate you taking some time for us. Great. Appreciate it. Thank you.